This is Jay, and in this series we're going to talk about screen printing inks, specifically Plastisol, Water Base, and Discharge. By the end of this series, I want you to be able to go to a custom shirt printer and tell them with confidence what kind of ink you want and why. We'll start with Plastisol because it's the most common ink used on textiles. Plastisol is a really good choice for color matching on any garment. The reason for this is that it creates a plastic sheet on top of the fabric, making it good for all designs where high opacity is needed. It's composed of PVC particles in a suspended emulsion, has the consistency of cake batter when wet, and will not dry if left in the screen for long periods of time. Because of this, it's a favorite among screen printers since it's easy to work with. In order to dry, it needs to cure at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. If they try to cure the shirts too quickly or don't let them get up to 350 degrees for long enough, the prints will crack and deteriorate over time. I'm sure you know what that looks like. Plastisol sits on top of the fabric instead of soaking into the fibers, giving the print that classic raised, plasticized texture, which can be adjusted by the printer to your preference. Other inks can produce a softer feel, but if you really want bright whites or thick sports style printing, Plastisol is your best choice. Something to keep in mind is that if you do not specify what kind of ink you want from your screen printer, Plastisol is probably the kind of ink you're going to get. In the next two videos, we're going to discuss alternatives to Plastisol like water base and discharge. 